Hello, uh, this video will be using Google SketchUp. In this case I'm using SketchUp Pro, but it would be the same for the free versions uh, 7 or 8. And uh, going to specifically using some of the components found in the Sketch Data Library that's located or that are contained in the Google Warehouse. I've had a few emails asking about making some more detailed modifications to the cabinet, so I thought I'd do a quick video showing some of the additional attributes that aren't as easily found. So I'm going to start off with grabbing a couple cabinets from the warehouse. And we'll just grab a couple base one door, one drawers. So with the simple, when you have each cabinet highlighted, you have some of the basic parameters with height, depth, hinge direction, so I could switch the handing and it actually regen and took on the materials that are already loaded in here so I'll regen this other one or redraw it and get the materials but these are some of the basic variables but there are more uh, variables buried or nested inside uh, the component attached to each of the parts so for example if this had a finished end and I wanted to inset this toe kick I could keep clicking until I got to the toe kick and then there's a variable here I could set this in two inches that way. Likewise I could highlight this in panel and I could change the banding so if I wanted to change the banding here it's saying the outside surface of this panel is the case material inside surface interior the front edge is case banding and then X means there's no banding on the additional surfaces but if I wish to put let's say the interior banding on the other three surfaces you just put eyes, hit apply, and that should turn them all white. So, so now they're all white, and those are taking on the materials that are found here. But you could also just repaint those surfaces too. If you wanted to change, for example, uh, we could also change the thickness. If we go back to that in panel, there's it's three quarter. I can change that to five eighths thick. And we'll see the panel will change. And then if I were to redraw it, and then it will recalculate. Oops, I need to do both panels. I can do the other panel too. Six two five. So it resized. Um, so you could basically change the material thicknesses and to 5 8 and then save a library of your own 5 8 material boxes. If you want to do it over multiple cabinets, you could highlight the two and use a plug-in. We have two of them. Attribute update is simple, means you're going to see the attributes that you find at the first level. Hinge direction, toe kick height, things like that. Um, so for example, if I want to change both these cabinets to say a 6 inch toe kick, both at the same time. We can see both cabinets were modified to the 6 inch. If I look at the attribute that is the complex one, then it's going to oops, it's going to take a little longer because it's going to drill through all the components and subcomponents and figure out all the variables that are involved. And we'll see, for example, some of the material variables. And we can see side thickness here it actually varies because one cabinet is 5 eighths and the other one's 3 quarter but I can make them both 5 eighths and I can make the shelf thickness 5 eighths and top thickness 5 eighths and the bottom thickness 5 eighths for example and we should see all these parts shrink on the cabinets so anyways I just kinda wanted to show some examples of the nested components that are or nested attributes that are buried on some of the, the uh, lower level components and using the traditional uh, component options window or the plugin. Uh, so I hope this video helps and illustrates some of the additional changes you can make to the products. Uh, thank you for watching.